Welcome to the show. I'm here with Tony Weinstein, and we're here to talk about comic books on our Super Bowl show. Let's talk about the Super Bowl. Definitely not happy. Super excited. I did not want the 49ers. I wanted the Lions. Yeah, don't get me wrong. I'm not happy with either of the teams being in there, but uh, those are two teams that I think match up really well, and I think it'll be a fun game to watch. Um, Unfortunately, somebody's going to win. But I I have to figure out how to stream it. Sorry, say again? I need to figure out how to stream it. Yeah, yeah, yeah. What's uh? This probably it's CBS, I think, isn't it? Yeah, that would be Hulu or yes, <laughs> Plus. No, it's ABC. Oh, okay. Yeah. Paramount. Oh, well, it should be should be exciting anyway. I mean, uh, a couple of decent uh, decent games. I I I think I had predicted the the Ravens and the and the Niners, but I. Had, caveated that a little bit with with at least talking with some of my friends that uh if anybody gets knocked off it wouldn't surprise me if it was the ravens just because uh they have a seem to have a propensity for losing games kind of that they shouldn't lose yeah and uh they did they blew up spectacularly that was fun to watch it was enjoyable from a browns perspective too yeah. <laughs> It's just like, oh, you believe the Chiefs are in another Super Bowl? It's like the Chiefs oh. went from being kind of like, ah, it's the Chiefs to, damn, they're a dominant franchise. Well, it, and you know, some of it um, happens. You know, I think based on you know they they're they're well coached. They did a pretty good job of staying healthy this year, and they you know you you need a little bit of luck too. I mean, if you look at some of the teams that they got to go through, the Bills. How the Bills got into the playoffs, I have no idea. I mean, there was like, oh, you know, Josh and Josh and Mahomes, this is going to be great. And like the, the the Bills were an inferior team all year long. They barely stumbled into the playoffs, largely because most of the good teams either fell down at the wrong team time or had injuries that that cost them. Um, and yeah. the, the the Chiefs, even though they went into Buffalo and they smoked them, uh, it was embarrassing. Um, yeah. yeah, and my Browns. Yeah, John. We had one last good one with him, and he when it came time to finally deliver that one big final big win. Yeah, couldn't do it. They couldn't just had the injuries too. I mean, uh, they you can only win so many games just with defense, and I think that's that's what got him there. Steelers were the same way. Yeah. It just was. It just wasn't our game. No, no, no. But you know, right. it's the way. we're here Thanks. to talk about comic books. So All let's right. talk about this week's great bunch. There's a lot to go through. I'm. I didn't see any like great sexy stuff like Lost in Space or anything like that. But I did pick out some. I saw some great Marvel sixty stuff out there. Great monster stuff. So let's go through. Let's go. Let's go. Let's go through and and review them. Let me. Where's let's do my. It. Where's the share button? Share screen. There we go. All right. So looking at our first cover for the day is Fear Number number Two. This is a great monster comic. I mean, just look at that cover. Incredible Kirby artwork. Just, I mean... The X, the living, the thing that lived. These monster comics are classics. And you never know when they're gonna pull them into the MCU. I mean, Groot was one of these one of the in one of these issues, and he got pulled into the Marvel universe. But X, it just looks incredible. Great Kirby artwork, too. Next up, I just I'm a sucker for these old Green Lanterns. I don't know why. I just love these old Green Lanterns when they were just so simple back then. And the art of Gil Kane and stuff like that was just so incredible back then. So great art. It, it 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 doesn't hold up to modern times, but it's just a simpler time in comics. Yeah, I love the Gil Kane stuff, and uh, that's uh, number five. That's uh, I'm, I collect uh, Green Lantern myself, so that one just happened to be a uh, uh, a spare that I came up with. So otherwise, awesome. that would uh, still be in the collection. 
monsters who wear monsters well, more monster comics. I mean, Gruto? Gruto. Looks like a pig monster. Yeah. He's probably just there asking for directions. I mean, look, he's like, wait, 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 wait. Mulholland Boulevard, we're, we're, no, quit running away. And our next one, I just love this Daredevil cover. These 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 old Daredevil covers just look incredible. I mean, it's it's an otherwise forgettable Daredevil story, but the cover just looks incredible with the head in the background, him balancing on a pole with his glasses on. Yeah, yeah, it's a, it's, it's a good good series to collect too because there aren't a ton of keys, um, and it, you know they're they're relatively affordable compared to some of the other Silver Age Marvel. Yeah, and we also have. Another Daredevil cover that I just I I was like you got the kingpin in the background with him swinging and they show the real action lines and they're great collectibles, great to pick up. They're old and and they're worth a little. They're worth some money. I mean, you're not going to sell these for much, but they're they're worth picking up if you're looking for some old Daredevil. Great yep. covers. Next on the list, Chambers of Darkness number one. I mean, continuing on with the monster theme, this is more the madness of magic and about magic and stuff like that. But this is a great old gold silver age horror. And this is what horror was under the comic code because you can see the comic code right there. And sadly, this is what horror was under the comic code. But <laughs> it, it no like invitations, no eye gouging, no throwing people in acid. But yeah, it's still exciting looking covers. Black Lightning number one, or is that number one? No, it's number uh, three. Three, I think. Uh, yeah, number three. First, Tobias Whale. I, 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 I'm definitely. Oh, look, and it has Clark Kent in it. So Black Lightning is kind of an interesting character. It was their attempt to create a black character that kind of went nowhere. They had Vulcan and the Super Friends, and they had Black Lightning. And I fell in love with Black Lightning because of Batman and the Outsiders. Mm -hmm. But. I always liked his uniform. I always thought that uh, that that color pattern and everything very flashy. But uh, yeah, definitely it was a uh, um, you know uh, all you know right around the seventies, right? Luke Cage, Black Lightning, Black Goliath. You know, just trying to trying to get more readers. You know, and um, T Rock from the uh, Legion of Superheroes around that time too. Yeah, and then an old war comic by the church of spire group so i have a hard spot for church of spire books you see them every <laughs> once in a while the archie ones are the famous ones but i had the i had i had the one about about the dallas cowboys and stuff like that and they're oh, just wait. church spires are just they, they 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 they're collectible and so I, I thought i would feature a church spire I'm, i don't think i'm gonna buy it but if you're looking to pick up church spire books they're definitely in the collectible range yeah, the big one is the uh, the Hansy one, right? The girl who loved the swastika. Yeah. And then you have Green Lantern, another old Green Lantern, just because I love all these old Gil Kane covers. All right, next up, Kamadi, The Last Boy on Earth. I think I... No, I have Omen. I, I, I need to pick this up. This is definitely on my list of I'm going to try to get. This is yeah, Jack Kirby. Covers, uh, beautiful, right? And kind of a Planet of the Apes sort of feel to it. Yeah, it's definitely one that's worth picking up. Mighty Mouse, because you, you know, we, 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 we obviously we both love the ducks. We're big Uncle Scrooge fanatics and big Donald Duck fans. But you know, you know who gets forgotten all the time in all these all these great comics is Mighty Mouse. I mean, he had one of the most successful comic books ever printed was Mighty Mouse in 3D. And so I figured, let's include Mighty Mouse. If you need funny animals, why not throw in Mighty Mouse if you're collecting funny animals? Why not? He's there to save the day. Definitely came in a pack-in. Definitely came in a pack-in because of this label right here. Eight, I would put it in the 80s. Yeah. Sergeant Fury and the Howling Commandos. The origins of the Howlers. It's just that you have a you have a ton of Sergeant Furies coming up. And I just figured this one was the coolest cover. They're always such cool action covers. I love the orange in the background. That uh, something about the orange and the yellow covers are always kind of uh, eye appealing. I, I think for me, 
Well, I didn't have anything weird. I guess the weird pick of the week would be Mighty Mouse because it's Mighty Mouse. But that was what I thought was good for this month, for this week, and definitely looking forward to the Super Bowl in two, in, two, in the week. Yeah, it's uh, it should be exciting. I, I've been watching with my uh, my girls the last several years. We play uh, Super Bowl games where I'll put like little slips of paper with uh, um, you know, Chiefs score first touchdown or 49ers score first touchdown or you know, different. So and so gets first penalty, and then we all pull uh, pull the tags out of a hat, and uh, anybody who has the winning uh, card gets a scratch off lottery ticket. So it was kind of. You know, getting the girls interested, you know, at a younger age and what's going on in the Super Bowl, you know, which, it, for a Pepsi commercial at halftime or, you know, something like that. And um, and then we would all predict who would win and the total points scored and whoever, um, you know, came up with that. We get, you know, the remaining lottery tickets or we'd get like a you know, $5 scratch off or something like that. It was uh, it's always a lot of fun. Yeah. Well, anyways. I hope you had a good show. Um, I enjoyed it. Not much in the way of like anything. I was trying to feature some stuff that may not sell, but might be more, you know, those monster covers are just, I mean, all those are old Marvel. Those are old Marvels, early sixties, hard to find great buys. I didn't focus on any, there wasn't really any Spider-Man or Batman per se. There was a lot of Batman brave and the bold, but there wasn't much in the way of Batman. Yeah, I've got some of those coming up, um, I think, in a couple of weeks. Um, I just kind of go through uh, phases when I'm going through the boxes. I got a bunch of stuff over the the holidays when I was taking my hiatus and, uh, um, you know, just sifting through it. And some of it's already kind of batched up. So there'll be a bunch of this and a bunch of that and try to spread it out so I don't have too many at a time. But, you know, sometimes it's whatever this lazy ass uh, pulls out of the box that week. So. <laughs> Good week. All right. Yeah. All right. I'll talk to you next week about what we're what 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 we're selling next week. Look forward to seeing you. Sounds great. Take care. You too. Bye bye.